Welcome to another episode of Hair Biz Radio with your host, Zakira and Mikey. <laughs> and we are back for another episode. It's been a while. I don't even want to say how long it's been because I'm kind of embarrassed. But it's not my fault. It's Mikey's fault. We'll go with that. <laughs> Mikey's busy. Mikey's busy. Okay. But today we're going to be talking about Black Friday. But before we do that, let's kind of get some updates. Like Let, what's been going on? Yeah, we need updates. Uh, first update is I was reading a review. Dawi over <laughs> here, our producer, was like, oh, you should read a review. Um, I don't have a name. It says LVDB. Um, every episode is jam packed of information that you can take far in your business. I love it. Thank you so much. So that is just a wonderful review. And I just wanted to say thank you, whoever that is and everybody else that has left a review for hair biz radio. Maybe you uh, left a review on Amazon for my book, fearless beauty, the hair business blueprint. Yes. You know, just, just wanted to start it off with a little thankfulness. Yes. And that review is. Nothing short of amazing because literally all of our episodes have jam-packed information in them. Like yeah. we're always teaching, showing, bringing guests on who are teaching. So yeah, make sure you check out all of the episodes if you haven't gone back and literally listened to from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to have some upcoming guests, which yes. we're back in the studio now. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to uh, work on a virtual situation for yes. people that are out of town. So if you know any good guests, you know that, or you might be, should be a guest, make mm -hmm. sure you to reach out. You can actually reach out to Zakira on Instagram at Zakira yep. or me at Moran Mikey. And, uh, you know, we can talk some biz. <laughs> on Hair Biz Radio. Yeah, so Z, what's been going on other than, like, Zakira's getting married and some other stuff? But what, <laughs> what is really happening, Zakira? Um, I just got back from Costa Rica, yep. which was a blast. I had so much fun. The food was amazing. People were good. It was just fun. Yeah, I had fun with that. Um, working on some client stuff. Website development, staff trainings, all of that has been going phenomenal. Um, and then also working with Mikey in Dallas. Uh, we had a really great trip a few months ago, maybe earlier this year. Yep. That was awesome. Um, in L.A., working with clients. And then, yeah, everything's been great. Yeah, staying busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's important to stay busy, guys. Stay like, busy. There's, there's plenty of work. There's plenty of people that need help, so you just need to get it. Um, you know, for us, we are about to open Cumberland. Yes. So I went by there the that. other day. I sent Mikey a screenshot. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So, so Cumberland's about to open. Yeah. Oh, we purchased another building uh, that is going to also be a large showroom as well as a large warehouse space. So we're pretty, uh, pretty pumped about that because oh, yeah. we're pro basically going to be able to double our product line. Yep. Uh, offer a ton more cosmetics for our drop shippers and get more people in the cosmetics industry. Cause you got to think like I was thinking about it. We've gotten probably more people in the hair industry than anyone in the U S in the last sure. five years. For Those sure. Those are facts. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, starting a cosmetics line is not always easy, but if you really think about the whole, let's just say U S how many people want to get in the hair industry versus cosmetics? Yeah. Cosmetics is like 10 to 10x bigger. It's about to be on and popping. Yeah. Like top of the year with cosmetics and the drop shipping and everything else we do. It's going to be, I'm excited about that. Yeah. And I know uh, we spoke about it on a previous podcast, maybe a while ago, but PLE does offer beauty products. Yeah. From liners to lash glue and foundation. Not yet. Not no foundation yet okay. is coming. We just don't have room. Right. Like I yeah. have everything ready. It's mm -hmm. just room. Yeah. And you know, that's one of the advantages of drop shipping is you don't have to be like us and have all this room. Right. Because once you start saying like, oh, I'm gonna get this product, this product, and once you actually have to start getting inventory, you don't realize how much space this actually oh, takes yeah. up. Mm-hmm. A gets, lot. It gets crazy. Yeah. And we've talked about it before going from that small space to 12 offices to changing to this building to another building like yeah yeah it's, it's <laughs> pretty much non-stop it is definitely um but over the past few years um i think we kind of had like a a great start to black friday this is kind of segueing into um what we're going to talk about today but ple we've always done like early black friday deals we're always doing deals actually like from the drop to clearance sales, all of that. But today we want to talk about how to be successful or can you be successful 
in Black Friday within the hair hair industry, hair business. Yeah, because it's interesting. Is Black Friday, you think Black Friday, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to go to Walmart or Best Buy yeah. and get a TV for $200. Mm-hmm. You know, are people really looking for hair deals and stuff for Black Friday? You know, to be honest with you, over the last seven, eight years, whatever it is now, I'd have to say yes. Right. People definitely are still looking for these deals, especially your hardcore customers. Yep, and they ask about them too. Like they'll send emails, they'll call, they'll say, hey, um, when are the Black Friday deals launching? Or are you guys doing anything for Black Friday? Yeah, and I think one of the things that you need to focus on if you do have your hair business going is capturing before we had always talked about capturing emails Mm -hmm. but right now it's never been easier to catch sms for text messaging yes right and right now is the time if you're listening to this make sure you have this set up where you're capturing sms messages so you can say get in the early get access to the early black friday sale right because that's what a lot of people are doing you create this gateway kind of like you have to get into through the gate to get mm-hmm. into the products yep. and if you want to get first dibs before some of these deals sell out you better be on this list all the list definitely it's like all the lists yeah really it's like you have to put yourself in a consumer's shoe like think about all the things that you do that are kind of subconscious and un- and unconscious um like on your phone for example i was in the post office yesterday shipping some stuff and my phone went off and it was a message from i think it might have been matt collection the swimwear line and they were doing a 50 percent off sale swimsuits for five dollars i literally stopped in the post office line and i'm like i gotta get these swimsuits <laughs> and my fiance is like what are you doing you just bought swimsuits i'm like listen they're on sale okay <laughs> yeah i mean so you it's just the have same it. thing with hair business like if you literally send out your text like get on this list be the first to know when you're sending out those text messages people are going to hop on it quickly because text messages right now are a lot easier to access than email and i think you have to be really direct yeah with your message definitely saying no you know, fluff no fluff mm-hmm. you know straight to the point put a price in there mm-hmm. like maybe a regular 99 dollars today yep. or one hour for mm-hmm. one hour 49 dollars, whatever that deal might be yeah Um, to get people to your website. You know, the other thing to think about is you're probably not going to make as much on the products during Black Friday. Definitely. But it's a good way to kind of reward your current customers by giving them a deal Mm -hmm. and also attract new customers. But when you're doing so, you also have to think of the upsell, right? So like as an example, right now I'm holding, it was just kind of literally randomly on right. my desk, but I always have hair on my desk. Okay. So I have this like Indian transparent lace front wig, by the way, look at that hairline. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of development to have that perfected. Um, <laughs> so someone buys this wig. So as you care, if you buy this wig and you want to have this wig installed, guess what you're going to need? A stylist to install it. Well, not just a stylist, but what other products are you going to need for this wig? Oh, the glue. I'm going to need the You're going to need the glue. And possibly, yeah. Right? We mm-hmm. call it the melt belt. So we sell the melt the belt. Melt so belt. the melt belt goes <laughs> over that after you put the glue. And then what happens if you wanted to take this wig off? You need the remover. The lace remover. Yeah. Right? You need the lace glue remover. And then what if you wanted to clean this? Because this is a raw Indian wig. This boy is not cheap, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Right? And you want to clean the lace, you need the lace cleaner. Mm-hmm. So maybe you have a package where you buy the... This actually might be our and, deal. And this is funny. So we're talking about this now. And after this podcast, I'm actually going to go downstairs and purchase some lace cleaner because I need to clean my lace. See, there you go. And yeah. Trust me, ladies, clean the lace. And clean the lace. Uh, um, <laughs> but think about it. Maybe for Black Friday is with all the raw Indian wigs. Mm-hmm. We're going to give you the lace kit for free. So you're going to get a lace glue. You're going to get the lace glue cleaner, the lace glue remover, and a melt belt. Yep. And think about when you're um, doing these, if you're giving out free products, there are products that you can get in bulk that don't cost as much. So you're not giving away like free bundles. You're giving away like a remover, something that can that is not going to cost you much um, to actually give away. Yeah, you have to think about those products that are going to go with it, because maybe, you know, maybe they are using a different brand of product. Maybe they already are using your hair, which is great. But for some of these other kind of upsell products, they're Mm -hmm. using a different brand. Yeah. But this is a good way to introduce them to the products and think of it as from a more of a marketing perspective where, yeah, you know, someone's like, well, I can't just give away all this stuff for free. But what happens when they run out and they really enjoyed your product yep. and they go buy it again? That's when you're going to make money on Black Friday. Right. Yep. It's it's not necessarily a direct 
um, result, but you'll see it over time. Definitely. You know, I, I have a new consultant for our email marketing and some of our SMS that we've been building out all these complex flows and everything mm-hmm. else. I have a high level understanding how to do all this stuff. I just don't have time to do it all. At all. Right. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, okay, let me bring in some experts. It could be part of my second book that I'm working on mentally, oh. not, not, not like on paper yet, but okay. kind of the experience <laughs> of it more an advanced kind of book on branding and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting. He was showing me this program. I don't remember the name of it, but maybe in a future episode, if it works, I'll let you guys know what it was. It's not cheap. He gets an agency price where it's like $200 a month. Um, So that would be our cost, but it really kind of breaks down your customer base. And I was like, oh yeah, we definitely want this. Because like in Shopify, you, you know, if I said, hey, what's your most valuable customer? A lot of people are going to just go into Shopify and see who spends the most. Right. And this is not necessary. They are valuable, but what's the most valuable, what needs more attention and everything else, Mm -hmm. right? So having these kind of systems, if I had it built in, you might send a certain offer to people that haven't even bought from you or haven't bought from you in six months. You might send them a bigger offer than somebody that bought from you this month, right? Right now, people are like, well, I, you know, I always want the best offer and I understand that, but that doesn't mean that you, you know, that you have to always, you have to sometimes give a little bit more the people that need a little bit more enticing to get part of the, part of your deal. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. And, and then the long-term value. So, or the lifetime value. So if you think of what the lifetime value of a customer is, right, I like to look at, okay, if it's going to be, if I had to spend, you know, if the lifetime value of the customers, you know, a hundred dollars a year, how much does it cost to acquire a customer, right? So yeah. if I can spend $50 acquiring a customer that I'm going to profit $100 a year, I would technically do that all day long. Oh, yeah, for sure. It'll take you a little while to recoup your money. So don't spend the bank in the beginning because you need to keep operating, yep. right? But think about the long-term and lifetime value of a customer. Don't th- always think short-term. Yep. But this is a good time during Black Friday that you can maybe loop these customers, new customers in, to get your products. Yep, and that's because they're waiting for it. Like they're looking for, everyone knows Black Friday, the best deals, sometimes the best deals are happening on Black Friday, but um, people are looking for those deals. So it's going to be very vital that you're putting your Black Friday plan together. Um, I'm going to say now because we're talking about it now, but next year, make sure you're preparing well ahead of time. You should be looking at Black Friday stuff at least three to four months prior to Black Friday so that you can make sure you're prepared. Right. And think about your inventory, you know, getting those getting those orders out quickly because yeah. you want to exceed the expectations of your customers. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's something actually that we've been working on here in the Atlanta locations. Uh, so what I, I haven't even told you this yet is so yesterday there were a couple online orders mm-hmm. and they got their orders within two hours. Oh wow. Right. So mm-hmm. we know people want their hair right away. Right. So it's not something anyone knew about. Right. Because we're still kind of tweaking the system. We're doing some testing. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to set an expectation online Correct. that says you're going to get something in two hours. You can learn from that. Don't go just go all, willy all nilly, in yeah. willy nilly. <laughs> right. So what we did is uh, I had 2.0 reach out to a couple people and said like, Say you ordered. Uh Hey, Zakira, it's 2.0 over at Private Label. It looks like you just placed an order with us. Thank you so much. You know, you'll say thank you. Right. Okay. Um, It looks like you ordered the 16, 18, 20 body wave with an HD closure. We actually uh, have this new program where we're trying to get products to our clients faster. And your order fits that program. Uh, Is anyone going to be home in the next few hours? Because instead of getting the order over the next couple of days, I actually can get it to you today, probably by two o'clock. How does that sound, Zakira? Amazing. (laughs) Sounds amazing. Okay, that's amazing. So what's going to happen is you're going to get text message updates ahead of time, Mm -hmm. and then you're going to be required to sign for it. So you have to make sure that you are there, Uh, but you're going to be alerted ahead of time, and the driver generally will call you. Do you have a gate code at your complex? No gate code. Okay, no gate code. Cool. So we're all set. I have it all set up, and uh, you know it might even be here by might even be there by one. That's amazing. It's like Uber for hair. It, that's basically what we're creating, yeah. right? So, but you have to be careful. So testing out some of these strategies ahead of time for Black Friday. I mean, if you're listening to this, we're 
recording this pretty close to Black Friday. Yeah, definitely. But think about for next year, other sales of doing like some small tests. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's an email that goes out to a certain amount of your clients, or you could even break it down to like in Klaviyo, it's easy where you can break down who your top clients are and yeah. maybe you can split the list and half one email deal goes to one half email deal goes to the other and you can see which actual deal worked out best it's like a b testing it's a b testing yeah. right so think about how you can do that kind of stuff as well because you know at the end of the day you you have to also take care of your client like if they're expecting deals mm -hmm. then you gotta, you gotta give them deals you gotta give them deals <laughs> yeah right? But because we are so close, I want to give like maybe two or three things that you can do like this week to prepare for Black Friday. So one is if you have inventory, you keep inventory on hand, kind of look to see what hasn't sold yet. And then maybe mark those items down because people will be more, more prone to purchase those items. So if you have like bundles that you've had for eight months over a year, it's like, okay, these aren't selling now. Let me go ahead and mark these down so that you can get those out of your inventory. That way you're not sitting on money. And then you can maybe go back and look to see, okay, um, the Spanish wave hair was more popular. Let me go purchase more of this hair versus sitting on this body wave hair that I have. So maybe looking to see what items you already have that you can put on clearance. That would be a great Black Friday option as well. And then also maybe items that um, you don't have a big investment cost on. So if you're purchasing items, lashes, let's say for nine bucks, then maybe you can put them on sale for $12 versus 19 bucks you know, right. and you're still making a profit. It's just not as high. But again, like we talked about before, it's not necessarily all about the money on Black Friday. You want to acquire new uh, customers and you also want to make sure you're honoring the customers that you already have. And on top of that, you can go to Private Label Wholesale definitely. at privatelabelwholesale.com <laughs> and yep. get lashes for like $2. Oh, so, yes, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> so like load up on that. Yep. And um, yeah, or, you know, you can do so let's think about some deals, right? So there's like buy one, get one free. Mm -hmm. Now you can't really do, it's hard to do buy one, get one free with bundles, bundles. unless you have it like marked all, all the way, way up. up. Yep. But a product like lashes that generally has a higher pro uh, profit margin, mm -hmm. that's something you can do. Because if yep. you normally sell lashes for say $15, $20, but then you're getting them from private label wholesale or whoever your vendor is, that's fine for maybe two, three, four dollars $4, right? Depending on the volume yep. you're buying. Um, then you can do a buy one, get one free. If it's $20 and you give two lashes and you paid $4 each, that's eight, you're still making $12 and you know, your customer is getting a great deal. Yep, definitely. Or you could do um, buy a bundle, get a pair of lashes for free or buy a bundle deal, get a pair of lashes for free. And then let's think about coupons. So there's two ways you can generally do coupons from a discount value or percentage, mm -hmm. Yep. right? So one of my favorite things is to do $10 off orders $100 or more, Yeah, right? Because some people will say that's more interesting to them when they're just reading an email than 10% off. Yeah. Even though when you spend $200 with 10%, that's $20 off, that's more. But people like that hard number because honestly, <laughs> not everybody's good at percentages, right? Right. So just seeing that hard dollar amount off a certain amount. So you have to spend X, get X off because mm -hmm. you can't say just get $10 off any order. Cause then you're going to get a hundred people buying something for $5 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and getting the order for free. Yeah, so definitely. make sure you set those limits and whether you're using Shopify, WordPress, all the yeah. e-commerce systems have that now. Yep. And another thing, when you're looking at coupons and discounts, make sure that you're calculating on the back end what you're actually spending on those products. That way you're not going into too much deep into your profits and make sure that you're when you're doing that let's let's look at the whole sale yeah right? not wholesale the entire the sale entire, yeah <laughs> let me say it that way right so let's just do some basic numbers let's just say that you have a wig not this wig because this is a raw indian bob wig that you haven't seen new to our collection uh <laughs> closure construction transparent very beautiful if you're watching looks us good. on youtube you can probably see it looks good okay let's just say this wig was um, our cost was a hundred dollars. I have mm -hmm. no idea what it is. And you're selling it for normally for 200, but then you're going to do a sale on it and you're going to do it for 150, mm -hmm. right? You make sure you, you first do your, what's your delivered cost. Yep. So it might be a hundred dollars, but if it's shipped from India, it's probably an additional two to $3 per unit for shipping. 
So you're at like, let's say $3, you're at $103. So mm -hmm. your profit's down to 47. Let's not forget our credit card fees. 2.9%. Okay. Yeah, let's just 3%. say 3% yeah. just on average, because it's usually two point something plus 30, 30 cents, something yeah. around there. Let's just say 3%, okay? So that's an additional four dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have four dollars fifty cents plus three. That's seven fifty. So you, at first you thought you were making fifty. Now you're down to forty two fifty. Yeah. Then you got to remember the shipping cost. So mm -hmm. you might have said charged only four ninety nine for shipping, but then it ended up being ten bucks, ten dollars because mm -hmm. shipping's so expensive now. Yeah. So that's a negative another five dollars, right? And then you have to also are you are you hiring someone to ship this for you? Or are you mm -hmm. like, is, do you have an employee shipping this or are you shipping it yourself? So those are kind of like all the real costs you need to think about when selling the product. So well, well then finish because now you're down to like 30 something bucks. 30, you're, yeah. You're at like 30, 30 50, 37, 50. And then if you do a coupon for $10 off, you really only made 20 something dollars. Well, I'm discounted from 200 down to, Oh, right. Okay, but, gotcha. but I'm just saying, yeah. like, you got to remember. So, but let's just say I took it from 200 down to 120. Yeah. That's when it starts getting really close to that $100 mm -hmm. line. Yeah. You know, so, or figuring out the exact cost. And, yeah. you know, you thought you were like, oh, I can make $20, $20 on these. I'll do 10. But maybe you're only making like $5 on it. Yeah. And that's and, not know, a good a sale. No, that's not going to be, that's not going to be really good for you. Because right. once you factor in your time, you're probably losing money. Now, if it's some great product that you think someone's going to buy again in three to four months, or a variation of it, right? Right. Maybe they bought the bob wig and then, oh man, you know, for those people, hair. you reach <laughs> out to them. And if you want to be real strategic, you can reach out to the people. You can, you know, generally filter lists in the email systems. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, you bought our bob wig during Black Friday. A lot of people that bought those, they're also looking for something longer. Here's a 20 inch, you know, 150 density lace front wig. It's normally this. Maybe yeah. just give them a small discount or something free with it or something else to kind of entice them and kind of keep them going down that line mm -hmm. and becoming a long-term customer. Oh yeah. Um, another thing I was going to mention was I literally had it in my head and then it went away. Wow. That's what happens. But, <laughs> you know, that's what happens when you podcast Zakir and you haven't been doing this for a while. Wow. So, you know, yeah. Okay. Um, see, see Zakir saw this it's beautiful wig that I had on the table and her <laughs> mind went blank. Cause now she's like, I need to go down to the sh Mikey. I need to go down to the showroom and get my employee discount on my wig because right. this thing is looking fire. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, these raw Indian wigs, they, they have become, we don't sell as many as the regular wigs because mm -hmm. they are obviously much more expensive. Right. But these raw Indian wigs are nice. And especially these clip-ins. Oh, I got so excited about these clip-ins. Yeah, I know I've we're a little off been subject. Looking but for, we are. I've literally been looking for these clip-ins. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about them. Yeah, the clip-ins, the new raw Indian clip-ins are so gorgeous. But getting back to Black Friday, you know, the clip-ins, let's just say the clip-ins, right? This mm -hmm. could be... Black Friday could be a good time to do a product introduction. Right? Oh, I know what I was going to say. What is it? I got to say Probably it what I just said, and she's going <laughs> to no. try to take credit for it now. Go ahead and take no. my credit. I know what I was going to say. So you know how sometimes um, companies or like if they're doing like a conference or like a new product coming out, they'll say, hey, we only have 20 of these products available at $20. Once you hit that mark, then you're going to have to pay full price for these. Right. So even doing something like maybe there's, you've ordered all of your lashes off of private label wholesale and there's a um, specific lash that maybe you haven't sold yet. So you kind of get that new lash and it's like, hey, these are new on Black Friday. We have 20 of these available for $8. After those 20 people get those for $8, they're going up to $15. But the original price is $20. So you see how you're kind of like figuring out how you can make people make it an emergency for people to order things. Basically introduce a new product. Like I just said, is that what you said? I don't know. It's close. <laughs> it's not. No, but your, your new product, but then you put like a limited, like yeah, a it's limited, like a quantity. limited quantity. Almost limited like quantity. how, um, I think you mentioned it maybe earlier in the video when you said, um, the first whatever people for one ninety nine, then the price is going to go up right. for the show. Yeah. Right. But there's a lot of conferences that do that. Like a lot of um, boutiques, a lot of stores, they do that just to make it 
Like, it's hey, the early bird special. Early and, bird special. And that's another way that you can capture either emails or text messages yeah. or just certain ways to get people on your list is say, hey, look, if you want to get on the pre-sale where things are generally 10 to 20% less than even our Black Friday sale, yeah. this is the group you need to be in. If you're serious and you want the deal, yeah. you need to get in this group. We're going to have limited amount at this price. So you do not wait. Right. You know, it's very similar to when we do the drop on private label clearance. Mm -hmm. You know, we have products that go out. We, you know, some of those good deals, they sell, they sell out right away. Oh, yeah. You yep. know, people have their people have their um, their credit card saved in Shopify. Yeah. And they do the shop pay, <laughs> and it's like bam, yeah. Bam, and some bam, people get bam. upset when they miss it. I know we'll get messages <laughs> in the Facebook group. Uh, shout out to the Facebook group. We love you guys. Oh um, yeah, we get we get messages in the Facebook group like Mikey, this sold out so fast. I'm like, look, you got to be quick. You got to be on it, <laughs> on it, on it. Yeah. Yeah, so that kind of stuff is, you know, I think if you kind of mix some of that together with what's going to work best for you, your brand, your style of business as far as how you do business, I, I think you can implement some of this stuff and it'll definitely help you, at least on the coupon discounting side, yeah. scarcity side, sense of urgency and list building, you know, it's a, it's a good time to build up that list. I think so too. And then talking about like the difference between um, drop shipping and wholesaling, a lot of these things will work very well if you're wholesaling products. But for those people who are drop shipping, um, some of these will work as well. You just have to make sure your margins are where they should be. That way you're still making a profit. And going back to what Mikey said in the beginning, it may not be a direct result, but you'll get it on the back end because you'll have acquired new customers as well. So, yeah, for sure. And yeah. even if you are drop shipping, this could mm -hmm. be the time, the one time that you did buy a certain product, maybe lashes or something in bulk and yep. just give some crazy deal yeah. just to get sales. Now you are going to have to pack and ship the stuff yourself mm -hmm. uh, over that weekend going into Cyber Monday. But it's well worth it if you're purchasing. Yeah, 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 because you can give a better deal. Now you are going to have to do a lot more work, mm -hmm. which is kind of people that like drop shipping. Obviously they maybe are busy in life or just it's a side hustle. They don't have time to pack and ship or right. maybe they don't like to go to the post office, which I don't blame you. Yeah, or if you have kids. Or yeah, you know? kids. Kids or just something else. Put, or them, just, put them to work. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if you have the funds, it is a good time to go ahead and get some products that you can give us like a really good yeah. deal. Yeah. You know, but then of course you have to be careful because if they order the one product that you have this special deal and say this wig mm -hmm. and this wig is on drop shipping, but you don't have this wig, then you're kind of like, well. Yeah, they can't get so it. So you got, you know, you got to work through that a little bit, um, or it's shipping in a separate package, but then you incur a double shipping cost. Exactly. There's a lot of variables, guys. That's mm -hmm. why I say you're gonna have to figure out what works best for your business. Yeah. But um, you know, it's all possible to be successful during Black Friday and Cyber Monday for um, the hair industry. Cyber Monday, yeah. So those those go hand in hand. You can, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's um, I think that's a good start for everybody, and um, you know, make sure you join the Facebook group. Yeah, so if you have questions, we're going to be answering a lot of your questions about the deals and everything else in there. Of course, check out Private Label; it's going to have some deals. I, it'll be on Private Label and then Private Label Clearance. We're going to have some deals on there, and um, yes, I think it'll be good. Yes, this is great. Um, I always love talking about like. How to help people. That's literally what I love to do. And Mikey too. Like just making sure you guys have the tools and resources you need to be successful. Yeah. Literally. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Um, we'll continue to read some reviews as we go on with the podcast. Make sure you check us out on YouTube. If you're listening to us now, there is a video to this. So check us out on YouTube so you can see some of the stuff that we're doing behind the scenes. And we will be back with another episode soon. Later. Later.